Hello everyone, in this video I'm really excited to show you Xtreme. Xtreme is a brand new free instrument for Halion and Halion Sonic. It allows you to transform even the most ordinary sample into a massive expansive soundscape. You can do all sorts of sound design using just one single sample. You can do pitch shifting, time stretching, or you can create the most cinematic ambient soundscapes. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can create your own sounds. Let's get started. I'm going to dive straight in because I have many things to show you with Xtreme. I hope that after watching this video, you will be inspired to create your own sounds with this instrument because it's super easy and super fun. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, first of all, how you can load an initial preset. All you need to do is go here to programs and make sure you show the layers. And in the layers category, we will find the initial extreme preset. Load this up and you get this sound. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load one of my own samples. In this case, I'm going to load a very, very simple guitar sample. <laughs> This one right here, just one shot guitar sample, nothing special. So I'm going to drop it into Extreme, and now let's see what we have without even touching anything. So as you can see, even without touching anything, you have a completely different sound. So if you drop any sample into Xtreme, you're going to get a very interesting variation of your sample. Now, why does this sound so different immediately when we drop this sample into Xtreme? The reason is because we have this spectral synthesizer and we have mainly this blur effect right there. This blur effect smears the incoming signal with regard to its time and frequency, which creates effects similar to chorus or reverb, but it has a very special character and we're going to take advantage of this to create our own sounds. So let me show you very quickly what we can do. The first thing I want to show you is the speed parameter right here. And if I set this to, let's say, 100, this is going to be the original speed of the sample. But as you can see, now I have a playable instrument. Now, if I want, I can make it faster or slower. Or I can freeze completely the spectrum. So I can go here and select where I want my sample to start playing from. So I can just click on this spectral view right here. As you can see, immediately I have so many different sounds to begin with. So now I've frozen this. It plays indefinitely. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to activate loop because I want to be able to play this for as long as I'm holding the key down. Now, when you activate loop, you will be able to set up your loop start and end points. So like this. And if you want, you can set it up like a normal loop. <laughs> Or what I like to do is turn it into an alternate loop and now you will see that my cursor is going to go back and forth. So now as long as I'm holding the key, we're going to get a sound that sustains indefinitely. The next thing I want to show you, and this is a very cool tip, if you have a sound like this that starts really loud and then it fades away, a very good control to use is the auto gain. This takes care of this change in level so your sound is more homogeneous throughout the entire sample. <laughs> thing I want to show you is the blur time and the blur depth. Let me show you by clicking at this spectral tab right here how this looks. I'm going to go all the way to zero for both of them. And you can 
can see the effect that we get when we turn up our blur time and our blur depth. The blur depth adds quite a bit of a modulating kind of sound to our sample. I'm going to show you something else that's really exciting. And this is the stack mode. Now, when I activate stack mode, I can introduce copies of the spectrum in interval. So if I want, I can add another octave higher. And maybe I want to activate another octave higher, maybe 24 semitones up. Or an octave lower or two octaves lower. So just to remind you, just a few couple of minutes ago, we started with this sound. And now we have this sound. Another reminder, I haven't added any effects, no reverb, no delay, no tricks. This is purely sound design. This all comes from the synth engine in Xtreme. Now, if I activate the pure button right here, I'm activating pure intonation, which means that the intervals are corrected to sound purely harmonic. This is really useful if you feed extreme with uh, pure waveforms like um, salted waveforms or let's say square waveforms that are purely harmonic. This will give you a cleaner sound. Another thing that I want to show you is that in case you don't have a MIDI keyboard, the Xtreme has this button right here that allows you to play back the sound that you just created. which is really useful if you want to play back the sound by, you know, pressing start on your DAW, you can click on the host button right here and just hit play on your DAW. And again, the sound will play and stop depending on whether you're playing your DAW or not. The next thing I want to show you is the spectral filter that we have right here. And this is a very powerful sound design tool. Again, I'm going to click on the spectral tab right here and I'm going to activate my filter. And what I can do is I can start adding different points right here. I can create an interesting kind of filter shape. Let's go like this. I'm gonna go very drastic so that you can hear how it sounds, something like that. And let's play it. <sighs> And as you can see, I can scale this filter. Or I can shift it, which can yield some really interesting results. And by the way, if you want to have some starting points with a spectral filter, you can find presets right here. So we have different vowels, for example, the female O or E or A, male vowels. We also have resonant filters. So you can start playing with these filters and immediately you will be able to get some really good results. This is a good time to show you how you can modulate parameters in Xtreme. It couldn't be any easier. Let's say I want to modulate my shift or my scale here with my LFO, for example. So I'm going to click on my LFO, drag it to the parameter that I want to modulate. And there we go, we have done the connections. I'm going to do the same thing with a shift. Let's activate modulation for the shift as well. All this from a simple guitar one-shot sample. It's incredible, isn't it? Now let's try a completely different sound. Let's try a drum loop. And let's drop it in. Straight away, it sounds like this. I 
couldn't do anything. Fascinating, right? So I can change the speed. Okay, let's create a loop here. Maybe I'm going to activate my loop and I'm going to start from here and I'm going to end maybe right here. Let's activate stack mode now. Now let's say that I want this drum loop to be in a kind of minor key. I can change the pitch of this stack interval. can actually play music with my drum loops. It's really fascinating. Let's change the speed. And play a little bit with the blur time and the blur depth. You know what, I'm going to assign these to a quick control. So this one right here, I'm going to go assign to quick control. I'm going to assign the blur depth to the second one, maybe the purity on the third one, like this. And now I'm going to assign these to my MIDI controller. Learn CC, done, learn CC, different CC, and third CC, there we go. Let's play it. I mean, it's so much fun, isn't it? I mean, you can use three controls and I cannot imagine of any other form of synthesis that would allow you to do this kind of thing. Now this is like I washed this sound in reverb, that there's no reverb there, there's no reverb, it's just extreme and the spectral synthesis that is behind it. It's great fun. Let us know in the comments down below what you think. Now let's try a completely different sample and let's see what we can come up with. I'm going to play it back for you first. Okay, so this is a very simple loop. Let's drop it into extreme and let's see what we can come up with. Let's add all again. And now let's add the stack and let's see how we can transform the sound. Now, if you want the sound to start directly, you can activate direct blur. So let's say you have a sound that's supposed to be a lead or a bass. Maybe you want to turn this direct blur on. And of course, if you have samples like this, don't forget you can play with the position and you will get a different sound each time.
So there you go. I hope this video gives you a good idea of what you can do with Xtreme. My suggestion would be get any sample that you have in your hard drives, drop it in and start playing with the parameters. And I can guarantee you, you're going to have some amazing results, even with the most simple sounds. I hope you enjoyed this. Let us know in the comments down below what you think about Xtreme and I'll see you on the next one. Have fun with it. Bye-bye.